Hello guys, in today's video, we are going to discuss this problem from the book 200 uh, Physics Problems with Hints and Solutions. Uh, this book has quite an exotic range of problems varying from very easy, not very easy, problems which require minimal mathematics but a maximum of your logical reasoning skills and uh, problems which uh, will make your mind boggle and you might even be stuck on them for days or weeks. So this problem is on the relatively easy side. This is problem problem number two of the book. So let's uh, read the question. A small object is at rest on the edge of a horizontal table. It is pushed in such a way that it falls off the other side of the table, which is one meter wide after two seconds. So let's say this is a table. This distance is one meter. We push the object from here and it fell off this edge. So what conclusions we can draw? Initially it was at rest but we gave it some velocity by pushing it. So let's say it has an initial velocity vi and let's say it has a final velocity vf. So the condition for the final velocity would be the final velocity is greater than or equal to zero. It can be zero also because once it's, it has passed the point it can fall straight down. So the final velocity can be zero or more than zero as well while the initial velocity has some value. So now the average velocity for the entire duration would be the total distance, the displacement basically which is 1 meter upon the time taken, so half meters per second. This is the average velocity and you may recall the average velocity can also be calculated by the average of the initial and final velocities. Now we also know that the final velocity at the minimum can be zero. So if we take the minimum value of the final velocity, if we take its minimum value, then we get the maximum value of our initial velocity, right? So uh, using these conditions, the two get cancelled out. We are taking uh, the uh, final velocity to be zero. So we get the initial velocity to be one meters per second. So this is the maximum value of the, of the initial velocity. Also, we understand that uh, it went from one meters per second to 0 meters per second in 2 seconds. So we can also calculate the acceleration which would be 0 minus 1 over 2 which is minus 0 0.5 meters per second square. The negative sign implies it's retarding and uh, it means that the direction of the acceleration is opposite to the direction of the motion of the body. So now let me get some space here. Yes. So now uh, this is, you uh, You may also know that the acceleration can, this is the acceleration which is being caused by the friction, the de-acceleration uh, de uh, de is being caused by the friction, so it can be written as mu g, where mu is the coefficient of friction. Let's assume that the object did not have any wheels. So this would be kinetic friction because the object would be sliding on the surface, so kinetic friction would come into play. So we can calculate the coefficient of kinetic friction, the modulus of the coefficient of kinetic friction would be 0 0.5 over 10 which is 0 0.05 now you can see uh, the coefficient of kinetic friction is a dimensionless quantity this is quite a, a, a small value the, average, the usual range of kinetic friction is greater than 0 0.1 so this is one piece of information which you, uh, you should have known in order to solve this question or you could have just uh, realized this while solving the question so the initial assumption that its kinetic friction is wrong because the coefficient of kinetic friction cannot be this small it's generally greater than 0.1 so we can conclude that the object has wheels attached to it it does not mean that the entire object is uh, rolling we can conclude that part of the object part of the object has wheels part of the object has wheels which reduces the coefficient of friction so this is no longer kinetic friction this is rolling friction or it can be a mixture of the two as well if some part of the body is sliding while some part of the body is rolling so to answer the question does the object have wheels yes it does. I hope you like this sort of video and make more such videos in the future. If you want to suggest some problems, you can leave them in the comment section.